I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, so this I got a request on one of my videos. I believe the video about um, the inner workings of a desktop computer keyboard. Um, the request was to see the inner workings of a laptop keyboard. So here we are. We have this laptop keyboard um, came from an HP system. So in case you're wondering, the part number is not good stuff. It's right there. This is just one of random keyboards I had. So, um, of course, tearing this thing apart is going to destroy it. So, obviously, anyway, I don't really care. <laughs> but uh, one thing you can notice right away is how flexible it is. Not that you should be bending it, but uh, it does have quite a bit of flex there. So, the first thing we got to do is we got to get this plastic off here. And we may have to. Uh, employ some brute force to get this thing apart. So I'm thinking we should be able to pop this silver bezel way in the cut off of there. It's probably just glued on. Yeah, that kind of seems to be, actually it's, it's like riveted on. Now I'm going to be popping some keys out in the process, so. Um, the keys themselves, um, they have, it's kind of like a scissor. Think of a scissor lift, if you've ever seen a scissor lift. That's kind of how the keys on these things work. And one had popped loose there, so we get a chance to look at that. Okay, and all the keys except for the escape key have remained intact, but if we look at this escape key, you'll see how the actual keys are fastened to the keyboard itself. And it looks like a little scissor lift. Now, of course, that one actually got a little broken. These are easy to break, and that's why a lot of times you'll see laptops with keys missing. Because these very fragile little legs, or uh, what do you want to call them, they, uh, they tend to break. And it actually, might be able to pop it back into place, but uh, that's kind of in a nutshell how all these things go together. It's just like a scissor lift. And there's little notches on the keyboard itself that those uh, the bottom of that scissor lift, you want to call it that, attaches to. And right here is your rubber dome. The keyboard I uh, disassembled in that previous video was also a rubber dome, a desktop keyboard. So. There's your rubber dome, and that's what causes. That's what gives you the sort of snap on the key itself. And what's nice about this keyboard is you can kind of see uh, the inner workings of them. Now, next thing we're going to do, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually be popping all these keys off, and I'm going to do it kind of in a brutal way. So, <laughs> as there's no intention for me to ever fix this keyboard. So we're just going to pop all the keys out. That way you can see all the yeah, rubber domes. I sacrificed the keyboard 
to show you the inner workings so that way you don't have to. The good thing is when this depend and this depends on the model of the laptop. But in many cases you can actually get replacement keyboards for relatively cheap. Sometimes, or at least the last time I ordered one was which was a while ago, um was like fifteen, twenty, twenty-five dollars, maybe thirty dollars, depending on the model. And of course have it looked in the last little while. And of course with inflation driving everything up. Now also includes computer parts. Okay, so here we have the keyboard and all the keys stripped off of it. And you can sort of see the matrix there. It's kind of covered up with some uh, black stuff. You can see through it right there, actually. We may be able to strip some of this off. All right, so, uh, so right here is the uh, interface cable. Maybe I'll strip that back. Okay, so. Maybe I'll pull this off. Okay, there we are. So, this right here is what has um, the rubber domes attached to it. This piece of plastic. And again, all the little individual rubber domes are attached to it. And we pull that off. And it's going to, of course, want to tear. So it's a little different than the desktop keyboard where it was like one giant rubber mat. Making a nice little mess. <laughs> Don't be surprised in some of my uh, future videos after this, you'll, you might see a random, you know, piece off this keyboard. <laughs> but uh, here we have this little sheet here that has all the individual rubber domes that give the keys their little bounce. Or to snap, if you want to call it that. And under here is the uh, circuit, the uh, circuit matrix. It's like a membrane, and it's it appears it's probably glued on. But if we were able to take that off, um, you would notice how it's flexible. So you can kind of see it, and you can see the individual circuits all in it. Very similar to that of a uh, desktop keyboard. Except this does not have a uh, USB interface or a PS2 interface built in. It just goes straight to the motherboard. Which has the needed circuitry to interface with this. So I flip this over, you can kind of see how the um, the circuits are wired in this thing. So yeah, guys, that's uh, that is pretty much it. That's what you have with a laptop or notebook computer keyboard. Very similar to that of a, a desktop keyboard, and of course, again, all that's left is the matrix. 
And the way this works, you may be able to see these individual little little dots there. Those are actually the little contacts that the rubber domes actually press down on. Like for example, when I press right here, it would actually close a circuit and register a key press. Anyways, let's look inside of a laptop keyboard. There's some random keys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel and be sure to tick that bell so you get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support and thanks for watching this video.